Hi, Max. Uh, basically, I would like to introduce you my social housing briefing project in regards to the lack of housing building uh, in the UK. As we um, um, had a discussion a couple of times about my um, concept about social housing, and uh, I would like to grab your attention to um, this matter actually. Uh, during the, my um, study on uh, this uh, concept, I uh, found many uh, different aspects. For instance, an estimated uh, 8.5 million people in the in the England actually, particularly are living in a uh, and uh, on affordable, insecure, or on on uh, suitable home, according to the uh, National Housing um, uh, Federation. So, um, as we can see here, I uh, study various cases on housing crisis to become understanding what can be done by government and private companies to address the lack of housing in the UK and uh, for instance there is an example of a, a good social housing which has been a winner of the um, uh, rebuy sterling price as we can see here this is a goldsmith uh, street social housing and there are few good things about this project for instance these housing um, uh, these housing actually um, uh, all, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the present as a uh, passive house, high density, low energy uh, cost and uh, the communal, there are communal spaces or shared communal garden, safe uh, play area for children and high sustainable. So these are the aspects of a uh, good social housing actually. And uh, I got further to my study and I uh, found in order to tackle this crisis, I think modular housing is a solution for that for this uh, problem. And by working alongside the manufacturing um, or who are producing a variety of quality design. Uh, that can also pay respect to the community, to any community in England or in or in general in UK, and make the housing um, affordable or certainly competitive with uh, traditional buildings. So these are the example of the uh, modular housing, and uh, I would like to introduce why I tend to study on social housing because when we introduced uh, the island site in Nottingham, which, uh, which is uh, here I highlighted, I uh, started to study further on my concept. So this is an overview of uh, Nottingham and especially on a site here. And uh, island site in current situation is kind of look like this and the island site as we know is a 10.5 acre um, brownfield site on the south eastern edge of a Nottingham uh, city centre and uh, also located on five minutes walk from uh, Nottingham uh, train station and this is a boundary of a site. This is a close look of the site uh, we, we, we see here. And I study on a history of a social housing in Nottingham also, which uh, the group of history on and actually in last year, uh, or f first semester actually, a group of the, the, the students has done this social housing um, uh, study. And I uh, 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 was uh, the thinking uh, it would be the good example to put to the, the manifesto. And this is the, the, the solution I 
looked at uh, for the site. If I'm talking about a modular housing, I have to have a solution for that. Well, well I'm thinking modular uh, housing is a good solution for the uh, social housing, which is uh, the, the, the subjects uh, at the moment in the UK and government uh, actually is suffering from. So the, the my solution is as uh, these uh, um, uh, the, these uh, elements below. So uh, create a, a greater offsite uh, construction can be help can be help to the uh, this crisis. Offsite manufacturing resolved uh, trade shortages, uh, free land or in green belt preserve environmentally valuable land, low cost energy or passive houses can help to um, reduce these uh, demand uh, to the lower um, percent and uh, to make people more happier because they, they, then they can be able to get onto the housing ladder after they sit in, the, in these uh, the, the social housing. So the site has a, uh, the three main constraints actually I looked at as, as I highlighted here. This is the, uh, the three main constraints are located. Um, high pressure gas pipe running across the site, uh, district heating pipes and uh, a brick severe which are um, here uh, as we can see in the picture. And I started to do my master plan because master plan has been designed as a, uh, as a permeable and uh, framework uh, uh, which would uh, show the, the, the streets that um, uh, and the facilities or uh, the, the, uh, around the site can be shown and also uh, 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 the master planning can illustrate overall look of the site and uh, how the, the, the layouts are laid um, on the site and design principle, I started to go through design principle. I uh, actually, the, the key factors of my design principles are as uh, below. For example, I've got uh, eight phases. Phase one is park, uh, or can, we can say museum, uh, building line, pedestrian network, hierarchy of a street, uh, preserved building and uh, open spaces, public transport, uh, private and public car park, and uh, and on phase eight, ancillary spaces I looked at. And uh, this is the, the a park for the, the, for the, the community. Uh, there is another um, version that can be uh, created, uh, park for public use and for the gathering. As we can see, uh, uh, I looked at how um, I'm looking forward to design um, the, the closed look of a park. Uh, building line, the building line will introduce the boundary of a skyline and street line, which will draw the sense of in intimacy when you walk down the street, as, I, as we can see here. And pedestrian network, the pedestrian and cycling network was introduced to their site to ensure that there are routes and paths specified for cyclists as well as people who are using those uh, on daily basis. Hierarchy of the street uh, actually is the, the another aspect which is quite important nowadays. Socializing spaces are the place we can always spend time with friends and family like bars, restaurants, cafes. In that sense, uh, these spaces become the significant things in any civilized country. As we see here, these, these are the, the hierarchy which will be laid. And uh, preserved building and open spaces, they are actually preserved building here. I uh, tend to use it as an open space in front of them. If uh, the, 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 if we come up by um, a solution for it, for preserved buildings on the site need to be refurbished to give an open space and a pleasant visual to the new environment. A public transport, 
the public transport as uh, if I uh, go through here public transport uh, introduce I tend to introduce uh, primary and secondary routes for primary vehicles and bus routes as we see here and private and public car park um, of course car park is another element of a well prepared city organization for the resident and the guests these are the uh, multi uh, multi story car park and surface bar car park and these are uh, private here as we go down ancillary spaces um, again ancillary spaces uh, like be active or ballet uh, which uh, which is here and art gallery here and uh, grocery here they, these can be help uh, the, the, the be the element to help the community to, to do the exercise to do the shopping to spend time spend good quality of time with friends and family in there and um, this is the initial master plan design for uh, island site I started from these and then come up by uh, these eight phases here and um, this is the again the uh, breakdown of all the phases that I looked at uh, again this is a, a non-human species um, which we see, which we which I introduced as a buzzard is quite large with the uh, broad and rounded wings um, this is I, I designed in Rhino I, it hasn't finished yet but I need to complete it um, after I got a feedback because they, they would be rounded as we can see here base rounded wood uh, comes along, along these um, elements here and it would be covered and as I introduced a couple of times before I would like to use it as a landmark as also uh, if I go further down these this is a plan and um, these three actually and the the, the, the uh, three dots that I actually put there is a location for the nests uh, that I uh, tend to uh, have uh, because as we see here the nest uh, the nesting territory for these uh, species animal actually contains several alternative nest sites usually between one to three but up to 14 has been reco um, uh, 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 recorded actually and non-human species again the the, the habits uh, the habits and the lifestyle of uh, these uh, uh, species I looked at diet and nutrition I looked at um, and this is a precedent um, uh, of the uh, of the the concept I'm, I'm pursuing to uh, produce in a the few months time so this is all kind of the um, uh, stepped block of what I'm introducing and this is a kind of detail I got through this is again um, the uh, the kind of uh, different concept with the the concrete of narrow houses I looked at and how, how we can see here uh, how um, the the, the, the building um, emerged deep into the ground here and again this is the, uh, the compound uh, compact house like a compact house I chose these as an alternative because uh, did, I like to I would like to uh, I, I did like to uh, the, the do some more um, um, uh, uh, ex uh, examination on how the combination of wood and uh, the ash brown stone work together as we can see have interior as well as uh, exterior how these combination work together and um, also I uh, got to the detail I studied the detail of these and also this is another example um, of the uh, the, the, the communal space here actually how these projects used these uh, cordia for actually this is a for um, office workers to enjoy some uh, break time in uh, in a patchwork of uh, grassy hill or uh, or uh, cheese boards and a mixture of uh, seating 
and um, as we can see here and this is a uh, uh, more uh, actually the um, the the first uh, plans that I uh, tend to design and uh, the layout different layout I wanted to use uh, for uh, the ground first and second floor and when I got through uh, further detail I got through um, these these new plan as we discussed uh, in previous week uh, actually last week I uh, uh, got to uh, try to do um, more sketches uh, to uh, re or reorder these uh, layouts and I uh, found uh, this is kind of concept I'm looking forward to it looking forward to uh, develop it further um, this is the this is a more um, study on um, the uh, the uh, technical housing standard, as we can see, Department for commun Communities and Local Government, and I looked at the, the style and variation of a housing in England as also, and uh, and also I looked at the the minimum gross internal flow areas and storage. And uh, this is a quick sketches of uh, the concept and nesting and the block uh, and uh, uh, some of the written words here and uh, how and what I'm looking for. And um, this is the the alternative of the uh, uh, pedestrian walk path on the uh, cantilever here. This is alternative one, alternative two can be located here and uh, can be get engaged with uh, the landscape and the environment and this is alternative three and if we go further down I looked at the structural insulated panels as we call it SIPs so this is uh, the overall view of SIPs and uh, the, the, the housing that can be built with and this is the again uh, the, the constructing a um, SIP building system the, some of the detail and the junction of a, uh, uh, a SIP flow with a wall and th this is again this is an example of uh, um, this is an example of a SIP panel house panel house how it can be open area and uh, if we go further down, this is again the the how it can be constructed uh, on a site. And again, this is a, a SIP um, uh, building system structure. The fire um, performance requirement, as well as I study here, as here we can see uh, how it can be easy to construct with even two people. And this is a panel of uh, SIPs uh, here with the two uh, OSB boards with the insulation in the middle. And uh, I got further uh, for more details on the, how it can be constructed, even if we're thinking about the combination of steel with the, uh, with the SIPs panel. As we can see here, steel panel with the SIPs. And even though I'm not using this, but I studied that uh, and even with the um, steel panel because I'm using um, the combination of a, um, a load bearing, load bearing SIPs with a timber structure. So the load, because we know SIPs is a load bearing. Uh, the uh, material and uh, if you want to uh, you can use with the uh, uh, concrete um, with the steel frame and timber structure so I chose to use uh, the timber structure with the uh, 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 SIPs so this was the, uh, the end of my um, uh, actually presentation I hope um, uh, it would. I hope it was good enough to explain what I was thinking and what was my concept. Thank you so much.